Indianapolis Colts are playing in Miami for the first time since winning Super Bowl 41 there about two and a half years ago. Now they hope to not go nearly as long in between visits. Tonight's game tops your free creditreport.com sports update from Monday, September 21st. I'm Lauren Shahadi. Well, the site of this season's Super Bowl will host Indianapolis and the Dolphins. Colts quarterback Peyton Manning going for his 119th victory, which would break a tie with Johnny Unitas for the franchise record. The Colts offense will be missing starting wide receiver Anthony Gonzalez, who will miss at least two weeks and as many as eight due to a sprained right knee ligament suffered in the opener. Game time, 8.30 Eastern from Landshark Stadium. College football to tell you about the polls. They are a change in. That's just the way it goes. Southern Cal dropping nine spots out of the top ten in the AP College Football Poll on Sunday after their loss to Washington. The Trojans became the second preseason top five team to lose in the first three weeks of the season. Preseason number three, Oklahoma, lost its opener to BYU. Now, number one, Florida. Number two, Texas, having held firm to their spots all season. Three, Alabama. Number four, Mississippi, moving up one spot in the latest poll, giving the Southeastern Conference three of the top four teams in the nation. Penn State staying put at five. Well, who is staying put at the Metrodome? That's a good question, right? The NFL said today it will not swap sites for this season's Green Bay Packers-Minnesota Vikings game in case the baseball playoffs get in the way at the Metrodome. Green Bay plays at Minnesota on Monday night, October 5th. Pitting Brett Favre against his old team going to be huge, right? Meanwhile, the Minnesota Twins trailed Detroit by three games in the AL Central with 13 games left to play. If the two teams finish tied for first place, the Twins will host a tiebreaker game if they beat the Tigers in the overall season series. Minnesota leads 9-5 with four games remaining in Detroit next week. Sounds like a problem. Well, Milton Bradley has been a problem. The Cubs suspended their volatile outfielder for the rest of the season on Sunday, one day after he criticized the team in a newspaper interview. Bradley was disciplined for conduct detrimental to the team. General Manager Jim Hendry said he decided to send Bradley home after learning of the player's remarks in a publication. Bradley, scratched from Saturday's lineup with a sore left knee, was quoted as saying, you understand why they haven't won in 100 years around here. Yikes. That's all for me today. I will see you tomorrow on your freecreditreport.com sports update.